हेलो एवरी वन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव फिल्ड द सीड एंड यू सीड फॉर्म फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल ट्राई टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड विजुअल सेंसिटिविटी विद एन एग्जाम्पल ना द क्वेश्चन ऑन विजुअल सेंसिटिविटी इज आस्ट इन पार्ट बी ऑफ सीड बट बिफोर वी डाइव इन टू दैट वी हैव एन अनाउंसमेंट फॉर स्टूडेंट्स प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एग्जाम्स वी हैव लॉन्च अ न्यू बैच ऑफ सी टू डी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन यू कैन डाउनलोड द स्टडी प्लान फॉर बैच टू फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन बिलो Now let's understand what is visual sensitivity. Visual sensitivity is about communicating design to an observer. It is about what an observer perceives when he or she observes a design. If the design is deviating from what it intended to convey, then the design is said to be visually sensitive. So it is not good to have a visually sensitive design. And it is for the same reason that designs of complicated and expensive products are first simulated on software to test its sensitivity. Now this is a vast and detailed topic in itself. For now we can conclude that visual sensitivity is about communicating your design without deviations. This can be achieved if we keep in mind the importance of symmetry and regularity of forms and shapes in our design. To understand this better Let's attempt a previous year question from Seed 2020 on visual sensitivity. The question asks you to create 2D icons for these images. Now the test of visual sensitivity is about identifying how close we can get to these organic elements shown in the image. Observe here that the question says that all icons should belong to the same design language. This simply means that each icon should have similar shapes similar attributes like line color shape or texture etc I'll try to illustrate this better as we move ahead with the question now please understand that the aim of this video is to help you understand how to approach these questions in the exam and what should be the thought process so the solution that I am going to come up with in this video may not be the only solution and you can have your own solution and explanation but I'm sure that this iteration will be definitely helpful for you The first thing that should come to my mind while I am attempting this question is to simplify the image. To do that, I'll have to identify the basic elements in each image so that the image can be simplified. So for that, I'll first draw whatever I can observe in the image. It is not important to come up with the final design in this at this stage now. This process will help me to think. So I would not think about avoiding mistakes at at this stage now as i draw rough sketches on the paper i can see that there are two shapes that are prominent in each image or i can say that these are the two shapes that i can relate to in these images this is a triangle and a rectangle so i can create icons using these shapes but as the question says that they should belong to the same design language so i'll try and stick to a particular shape only let's say the triangular shape in this case now before we move ahead also observe that the evaluation criteria for this question clearly says consistency and 2d form which means regularity in shape and quality of shape okay and here the composition means how we represent each icon while maintaining consistency i mean look at the angle of representing the image one here and the last image here the last one is a view from the lower angle isn't it now if we draw the icon for the same image it is not necessary that we stick to the angle or view of each image but it should be consistent throughout for each icon this means if i am representing all the images from the front view then apply the same for this last image also all right now keeping all these things in mind i came up with icons like this also observe that to maintain the same design language i have used almost similar triangles in each icon observe the icon for tulip it can have two variations and i think each of them will go with the question now it is up to you to decide which one you want to stick to for me these slanted icons will work now while working on a rectangle 
I thought, what if I make one end curved in a triangle? I think we can still come up with icons of the same family. So here each icon, which I've tried using the curved lines, here each icon has a triangle with curved end. I'm sure you can observe that. So this is how you were supposed to attempt this question. So this was an attempt to help you understand how to attempt a visual sensitivity question in the exam. I hope this was helpful. Now before I conclude, I would like to tell you that students who want to enroll in C2D program can now do so by visiting our website and the link for the same is mentioned below. Please take some time out and see what we are offering in these courses. We'll meet again soon with the new video. Until then, please be healthy and be safe. Thank you.